this video, we'll find the value of sine 18 degrees. Now, let theta is equal to 18 degrees and multiply both the sides with 5 so that 5 into 80 becomes 90 degrees. Now, break 5 theta to 2 theta plus 3 theta and the other side is 90 degrees. Keep 2 theta as it is and then transform 3 theta to the other side. Since this equation is true, it is true for sine also. Now, what is sine 90 minus x? That is cos x using the allied angle or complementary angle. So we have sine 2 theta is equal to cos 3 theta. We have applied sine 2 theta to get theta as 2 sine theta cos theta and cos 3 theta as 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. Well, because the target is to find sine 18 degrees, we can cancel cos from both the sides. So you can see that we are left with minus 3. Now this 4 cos square theta because we have to get everything in sign. So this cos square theta can be taken as 1 minus sine square theta and the left hand side remains the same. Now we'll transform everything to the left hand side taking everything to the left hand side. And this 4 minus 3 is 1. So 1, if 1 will go to the other side, it will turn to minus 1. So this is the quadratic equation. And remember that sine theta is actually sine 18 degrees. So we will now use the discriminant method to find the value of sine theta. What is A? A is 4. What is B? B is 2. C is minus 1. Now, because theta is 18 degrees and that belong to first quadrant, therefore all the ratios are positive and hence sine theta will belong to R positive. So out of two values, we have to reject one. So. So this value will be rejected because this belongs to R negative. Since theta belongs to first coordinate, so sine 18 degrees will give a positive value. So this value is rejected and the possible answer is this. Therefore, sine 18 degrees is equal to root 5 minus 1 upon 4. If you know sine 18 degrees, you can find the value of sine 36, cos 54 degrees, sine 54 degrees, and cos 72 degrees.
these are the important values. If you have sine 18, that is equal to cos 72 degrees, complementary angle. Similarly, cos 18 can be obtained by under root of 1 minus sine square theta, and that is equal to sine 72 degrees. Sine 36 can be obtained by half angle formula, that sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta, and sine 36 is equal to cos 54 degrees. And using under root of 1 minus sine square theta, one can obtain cos 36, which is sine 54 degrees. Thank you very much.